Welcome back to The Hive Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. It's my job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping. And today, I'm going to be taking the guesswork out of what to do with old comb or wax moth damaged comb. So stick around. At some point in beekeeping, we are all going to deal with comb that's been damaged by wax moth and we're going to have old dark comb. Today I'm going to tell you what to do with both of those things. The first thing I want to cover is that just because wax moth has damaged some of your comb doesn't mean you should automatically just melt it down or trash it or throw it away. Honeybees are incredibly amazing at reconstructing and reviving damaged comb. And in fact, if the wax moths have not completely obliterated it, you can put just about anything back in a strong hive and they're going to revive it with new wax. They're gonna build it up and build it out and you will have never even known that it had a problem to begin with. One misconception that I want to put at rest is that there's something wrong with the comb, like it's, like it's diseased if it's had wax moth eating its way through it. But no, there's nothing wrong with the comb. Wax moths don't spread any known diseases that I'm aware of or that I've seen in research. They just simply eat the wax and they poop all over the place, creating webs and uh, like little highways of webs as they, as they do so. The most damage that a, a wax moth is gonna do is their cocoons. For some reason, they burrow into the wood of our boxes and the wood of our frames and their cocoons actually kind of somehow create a little indent in that. It actually looks kind of cool. And over time, it weakens the structure of our wooden frames and boxes, but they don't actually make anything gross. I'm gonna show you a couple of wax moth damaged frames today and show you what I would do with it. And I encourage you to not be so quick to throw that stuff away or melt it down. Okay, so I've got a couple of frames here. This one right here, as you can see, all the white is cocoon there and here. And the rest of this is just old comb. This wax has been drawn out on a black BPA plastic free insert. So I'm able to like clean this cocoon up and my bees will actually build up the rest of this just as new as it was to begin with. So the way I help them out with that is I peel whatever wax has been affected. I peel that off with the cocoon get all that junk out of the way because the bees have to have that out of the way. And I usually do this with a hive tool, but doing it with your hands works just as well. And there's going to be a little bit of beeswax in this. So I recommend out of everything you see here today on the video, save your beeswax in a bucket. Eventually you'll melt it down into something. And so now we've got these clean bare areas where the bees can work again and freshen up this comb, build it out, just like they're so good at doing. I got a little bit on this side, I'm gonna clean that up. Now, as you can imagine, if this wasn't a plastic insert and it was just a wax foundation, wired wax foundation, which a lot of hobbyists use, which is a lot of work, by the way, I've done it. Not a big fan, I am a big fan of this, primarily because it withstands wax moth. Let's say they ate all this, damaged all of it. I could clean it off and I still have a base that my bees can build from. They don't have to start all over from scratch. It takes a lot of work, even though the bees make it look simple, for the bees to draw out comb before they can start filling it with pollen, honey, and brood. The second reason why plastic inserts are the way to go, in my opinion, is fresh, is because they don't blow out when you're extracting them in an extract or during a honey harvest. When you have wax foundation only, it takes two to three years for that beeswax to build up the strength to not blow out of the wooden frame and just come to pieces. Fresh, newly built comb is still fragile. So if you've got a frame of honey in its first year made from that wax foundation, it's likely going to blow out the first time that you spin it in an extractor. Okay, so my second frame with wax moth damage, an even better example. There's a huge sheet of this cocoon and it just comes right off. And I throw that down. Now what's left is a lot of 
hardened looking comb. Really brittle, mostly because it's cold outside and it's not, it's not fresh comb. But it's pretty ugly, it's kind of rough looking, but believe it or not, the bees can freshen that up, soften the wax, and build it back out like I was saying. And you'll never know the difference that it looked like junk to begin with. Okay, so moving on to an exception. A type of frame that you do not want to put back into your hive, even if it looks great. And that's going to be something like this. You see, I've, this is almost completely built out with comb. This area here doesn't have any on it. It's difficult to tell in the video because this is a black plastic foundation. If it was yellow, you could see it much more easily. But the reason I would not put this back is you notice when I turn it at an angle, see how the comb is grayish? It's actually mold. Now the bees can clean this up and they still do an amazing job at it. In fact, that's what I learned from my mentor. We used to put moldy frames back in the hive, but I don't do it anymore. Once I learned that part of how honeybees digest, which is a major part of their health, is through their respiratory system, and that they're susceptible to respiratory problems, I stopped putting moldy frames back in my hives. This is a prime candidate to scrape the wax right off of. You can even clean it up if you want to, scrub brush, a little bit of bleach and water, apple cider vinegar, whatever you want to do, whatever route you want to go. Scrape all this wax into a five gallon bucket using your hive tool, but don't put a moldy frame back in a hive because you won't be doing them a favor. One more frame I want to look at with you guys today is something like this. Now, this is actually really a really pretty drawn out frame of comb. In fact, it's still soft to the touch. It's not brittle. It's not old comb. It's probably hmm, two to three year old comb. But something that to note is that it is a good habit to take frames that have comb on it three to five years old, and even if it's good, scrape it down bare to the plastic. And you can see this one is a yellow plastic insert. Uh, but the reason I say to scrape this down every three to five years is that you're recycling that beeswax. Over time, beeswax holds pesticides and the foundation of a, of a honeybee colony's health is going to be their beeswax. This is their home. This is where they put everything, their food and their brood. So it's vital that this stuff be healthy for them. So by scraping this off down to the bare plastic and then putting this frame back in a box and that box back on a hive during a honey flow, which is the prime time that bees will draw out wax because they have the incoming resources to do so, that's a great time to get your frames drawn back out. And then you're getting rid of a little bit of a pesticide that's stored in the wax from affecting your colonies. Now, depending on where you live, you're gonna have different levels of pesticide in your comb. In Florida, where I was, everyone sprayed everywhere all the time. It was, it was a disaster. But here in the North Georgia mountains, most of what my bees forage from is wild cultivated. So. It's not like orange groves or apple orchards, blueberries, watermelons, which are sprayed. Those are monocrops that require spray from the farmers. But here, my bees go in the woods. No one sprays the woods. The worst case scenario that I would have, and that maybe you do too, is little farmer Joe down the road spraying his garden to keep the, the critters off. But honeybees don't really go to gardens so much as we think they do until there's nothing else left to work. So again, just to recap, recycle your old comb every three to five years. And one way to keep track of that is to take a Sharpie, write the month and date on the end of your frame that you put it in the hive, or write the month and date on the frame of the year that it should be coming out of the hive. So for example, this video, it's November, 2023. If I wanted to recycle this and it was brand new, I would put November of 24, 27 or 28. So then whenever I'm in a hive doing an inspection and um, we're coming close to the off season, I know that I can take this out, recycle it, put a fresh frame in that hive and they're good to go. When it comes to your wax moth damaged frames, just peel off that web, throw it away, feed it to the chickens. Sometimes, especially during the summer months when it's warmer, if you find a frame like that, it's full of larva, live wax moth larva. Chickens love that stuff. Just Prop these frames up on the 
somewhere outside and let your chickens go to town on them. It's good for them, it's good for your eggs, and they're helping you out in the meantime. But peel off that web, throw it away, collect it in a bucket, melt all the wax out of it that you can. But remember also that the bees can rebuild and repair a lot of this. So pay attention to that when you go to redo a hive inspection, maybe mark that frame that was really ugly or messed up comb so that you can see the difference and the bees can prove to you exactly what they can do. And then you'll be an even better beekeeper because you'll learn to start working with the bees, knowing what their habitual tendencies are and how that you can use them to your advantage with your beekeeping equipment. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, drop me one of these, and don't forget to tell your friends about the Hive Doctor. I'll see you in the next video.